Hey friends, it's Mitchell, and today's video is gonna be a great one. Like, I'm actually really excited to share this one with you because what I'm gonna share with you today is actually done uh, quite a lot for me, and I'm gonna be sharing with you a famous copywriting formula um, that basically just prints money on demand. Uh, but this is definitely one of many, but it's the one that I find myself using uh, most often, and that's why I'm kind of ready to share it with you. This is one of those formulas that when I study copywriting, uh, constantly see it everywhere. The greatest copywriters in history have used this repeatedly, like over and over, because it works. You know, they've made millions with it. If you ever read a copywriting book or you take a copywriting course on the internet, uh, every single one of them teaches you this formula that I'm going to be talking to you about, and I'm going to explain it so that way you know how it works. Um, and hopefully, you're not confused by the end of this. So then what is this magic formula? Well, her name's Ada and she stands for attention, interest, desire, and action. Maybe you've heard of it before. If you have, that's awesome. If you haven't, once again, it's one of many. Now there's Ada, Peso, there's different ways you can write copy like winners and losers. Uh, and, you know, ask some examples. But again, I wanna make sure you understand how Ada works, so let's just dive into it. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is going to be attention. Now, if you can't get somebody's attention, you have no chance at selling anything to anybody. And so typically, the attention is gonna come from your headline. So if you run an ad on social media, right, so like Facebook, if you have a headline, well, your image that you're creative, that job, the only job your image or video like you're watching right now has is to get somebody to stop scrolling but it's your headline of that ad that's going to get someone to pay attention to what it is that you're trying to say. So if you have a video and your headline, you know, let's say, let's say we're, let's talk about copywriting for this example, right? Let's say you're selling a copywriting course and your headline says, advice to business owners who wanna make more sales by a business owner. That would be a really good headline to use for people who don't know you, cause that's gonna be an indirect headline. And I'm gonna cover direct and indirect in just a second. But uh, an indirect headline basically is you're, you're running an ad, but the headline doesn't read like you're gonna make them an offer straight out of the gate. That would be a headline for copywriting, and if they read that headline and you have a video, and then they're more likely to pay attention to the video that you have. Now I wanna go into talking about direct headlines versus indirect headlines. I'm gonna give you some examples of both of these so you can understand them. So the first one is gonna be a direct headline. That is where you directly make an offer. So I believe I have um, some example that I you know, can give you would be a direct headline for a copywriting course would be new copywriting course for only $7. Or you could say new copywriting course teaches you how to print money on demand for only $7. You're, you're directly making an offer. When somebody reads that, like they know you're gonna try and sell them something. Another one that you can use that I've got right here in front of me so that way I don't butcher it is new book shows you how to supercharge your return on ad spend by at least 3x using seven strategies only the pros know. So right there, like, you know, like I'm gonna try and sell you a book. So direct headlines are really good if you're advertising towards people who already know you, like you, and trust you. So these are typically people who've bought from you before or maybe you're retargeting um, and they've already been to your website, they've already looked at what it is you're, you're trying to sell them. Um, if that's the case, you know they're interested because they visited your website but they, they already gave you interest, so you might as well just keep making direct offers to them. They know you're trying to sell them something. The second one is gonna be an indirect headline. The way you write these is you, you, you don't wanna make it obvious that you're going to be selling something. So yet again, we have advice to business owners who wanna make more sales by a business owner. Another one, a famous one, if I can remember this, was um, advice to wives whose husbands don't save money by a wife. Do you see, I, so the example I gave you built off of that one because I really like that headline personally. Now, if you wanna write like an indirect headline, you can write it as if you're gonna tell a story or if you have like some kind of news. And if you're gonna write it like you have news, that works really well because people love hearing about news. We love hearing about drama in the world, what's going on, what's new, you know? So that, that, that's why news would work. Okay, now we got the headline out of the way. So remember, headlines to get their attention, that's step one in ADA. We're gonna talk about step two, which is gonna be the interest. So there's two ways that you can get and keep interest. The first way is gonna be by telling a story. This could be a personal story. This could be a story about the person you want reading. This could be a story about someone else. When Wall Street Journal published an ad back in, I think it was like 1973, called The Two Friends, that used the winners and losers story, which is a way that you can write copy, by the way. But what you're doing there is you're just telling a story about two different people 
one's doing, you know, one's doing good, but the other one's doing really great. And it's because they're using the product that they're going to be try to, you know, they're going to be sold uh, later in the copy. So the second thing that you can do to get someone's interest and keep it is by stating some interesting facts related to whatever it is that you're trying to sell. But it's important to note though, that you don't want to just start listing facts just to list facts. If you're trying to sell a product about making money, your copy or your facts, I should say, needs to be about making money, okay? That way it all makes sense and it's relevant, okay? You don't wanna, you don't wanna um, you know, try to sell something like, let's say you're selling an email course on how to use email to get more clients. You don't wanna say that, you know, 96% of businesses in e-com use email every single day uh, because that's, that's, while it's relevant in the fact that people are using emails, um, you're trying to sell people on how to get more clients and e-commerce gets customers and they usually sell very low ticket items. Whereas if you have like an advertising agency, for example, hopefully you're charging at least $5,000 a month to, you know, to work with clients. Now, the next step after you've got their interest is to build up on the desire. So, Everybody has things that they want in life. That could be a new car, it could be a new girlfriend or boyfriend, it could be better health, have abs, be their own boss, make more money. Do you see what I'm trying to get at? People want different things. Your job then is to write about the benefits that your product will give these people. So what I mean by that is if these people want, let's say, to make more money, that's their desire is to make more money, and you're selling a copywriting course, you could say, learn how to write copy that will help you sell literally anything and print money on demand. So that would be a way to make more money. So let me give you an example of a feature, and then let me give you an example of a benefit. But remember, features tell, benefits sell. And it's more important that you talk about, you wanna, you wanna list both, features and benefits, but it's more important that you always, always, always talk about the outcome that your product or service will get somebody, because that's all people really care about. They don't care about your product, they don't care about you, uh, they, they just care about what you or what your product is going to do for them. And remember, we as humans are selfish creatures, unless you're like Tony Robbins and you love everybody. But for the most part, we're selfish. We want what's in our best interest, okay? So a feature, let's say you're selling a Facebook advertising course, a feature would be, right here, 12 scaling strategies which you can automate, right? That's a feature. A benefit would be so you can print $100 bills 24 seven without having to touch anything. So I wanna emphasize this once again, when you're writing about your copy, when you're trying to build up the desire to buy your product, that is when you wanna talk about the benefits that somebody's going to get by buying your product or signing up for your service. And then the last step we have in Ada is gonna be taking action. This one is super simple. You just wanna make it very, very, very clear on whatever it is they need to do to get your product. So if you're running an ad on Facebook, for example, you could say click learn more down below or click buy now to go check out, right? If, you're, if you have a sales page, you could say click the big green button down below that says yes, I want this and fill out your contact information and I'll send you the free training immediately. That would be two examples of, of how you would tell people you know, what to do. That is the last part of ADA, which is action. And so listen, if you wanna know seven of the fastest cash grabbing, money printing, copywriting secrets known to man, I'm gonna leave a link down in the description down below for you to go out and, for you to go and check out. Uh, but with that being said, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.